Hello my dear NEET warriors, this is your Captain Shreyas going live on the Vedantu NEET English channel. Now there is an important update which has come officially on the NDA website and like you all know, we only come when things are official or when things are wrong and students are messaging us continuously. So now both the things have happened because we have got numerous messages regarding some malpractices. Number one, number two, regarding NTA give, giving you an official update. So let's dive in straight into the update. Let's decode what NTA is saying. Let's not spread any rumors. And before we go ahead, make sure that you are subscribing to the Vedantu Neat English channel because uh, you know what will happen is else you will miss all the important updates. You will miss all the important notifications. You will miss all the academic things, uh, counseling sessions, all these things. So quickly smash the like button so that YouTube recommends you need content and also subscribe to the truth channel which is your Vedantu need English channel. Okay. So on the official, on the official website, let's open this up. There is a big notification which has come in. It has come up yesterday night. This is regarding the posts which are circulating on social media platforms regarding the exam which was held where there is a perception being created that the question paper got leaked before the exam started. To set the record straight, NT informs the following to the candidates, parents, teachers and concern. Basically, basically what happened is initially because we got, you know, the Instagram post, remember we went live first in India, right? Regarding that Instagram post where the paper so-called was leaked then we told that there are two possibilities either the language is a problem or you know the student came out early or third possibility is actually paper got leaked so it so happened that the paper was not leaked the students came out because they got a wrong language question paper they protested re-exam was conducted that day itself at that center and everything was sorted but there is a perception being created that the paper got leaked. NTA says nothing like that happened. And I feel to some extent that that is also the truth. It's just that the students actually got the wrong, you know, question paper. And I'll tell you why this could have also happened. Because many students are messaging us and saying, sir, we got a completely different set. How many of you from Meghalaya, some people even from Tuti Koron, some people even from, if I'm not wrong, in Andhra are messaging me and telling with proofs that, sir, we got a completely different set of paper, not the paper which you discussed. Has it happened with you? Quickly let me know in the chat box. Quickly let me know in the chat box how many of you have faced that issue. Okay, great. So a lot of you are facing that issue. So we'll come to that point also. Now NEET has been successfully conducted, my god, successfully, okay, great, ha, in quotes, in so many cities, etc. It has been ascertained from NTS security protocols and standard uh, uh, operating procedures that these social media posts towards any paper leak are completely baseless without any ground to put the rumors to rest. That means they are putting an end to the rumors. It is stated that every single question paper has been accounted for Further, it is also to be noted that after the gates of the halls are closed, no one from outside is permitted inside where, you know, the campuses are under CCTV surveillance. Now, see guys, remember that video which was circulating in the social media where the students left early. They were protesting. Even if they came out, let's say, I think there is no point of them coming out because other places, all other centers, the students have already gone inside. Mobile phones are not allowed. Students can't enter late, etc. So even if they came out early, how can they send the questions to a person who is already sitting inside? Yes or no? Getting my point. So that paper leak has not happened. I hope you got it. Okay. Students coming out early protesting because of a wrong paper in language wise. They cannot send the question paper to any other student who is already inside. Okay, they came out. That is wrong. Obviously, you cannot deny that. Okay, 
Now, the third point, as mentioned in yesterday's NTA paper press release, there was one incident in Rajasthan where some students forcibly took the question papers before the examination. A picture has been leaked and uh, you know which is mischievous and uh, preposterous. As mentioned in paragraph two, there is no way external agency person can access the centers once the examination has started. So basically whatever incident I told you about that is the third point the question paper uh, a picture which is linked for that incident all right it is definitely a mischievous incident because the students in Rajasthan have forcefully taken out that paper outside the examination hall but there is no point because they can't come back in or give the question paper to anyone else and the exam was reconducted if I'm not wrong yes all other photographs of question paper circulating in social media have no relation to the examination question paper which has been administered. So read this point carefully. All other photographs of question paper circulating in social media have no relation to the question paper which has been administered actually. Having mentioned the above, there have been cases of malpractice impersonation where strict action has been taken. Now let me tell you, if you probably just search for J E E N T A, you will see in the J Mains website there was a press release which was uh, given. Strict action was taken against 39 students and they have been debarred for three years from writing J E Mains. So the same thing will also happen. The same thing will also happen for these students. For these students who basically have you know impersonated meaning. You are not actually writing the exam, you have gone there or you have done some kind of unfair means. So you will be debarred completely, maybe for one year, two years, three years or permanently. It depends on the seriousness of the issue. So don't worry if there is some student who has done something wrong, that student will be punished. That's what NTA says and I have seen that in JE also, NTA was careful about it. That is a good thing. In addition to the above, NTA also conducts post exam analysis to detect the cases of unfair means action on UPM is taken as per extent rules which includes cancellation and debarment. What did I just say? Look at this point six. Look at this point six. Debarment and cancellation. Meaning, even if you are not caught while writing the exam, even after the exam is over, even after the exam is over, you can be caught. How? CCTVs are there. And I mentioned this explicitly before the exam started, you know, few weeks back. Few weeks back. There are CCTVs. It is being captured. It is being analyzed at the central, you know, at the central place where all the surveillance happens. They do a post exam. It's clearly mentioned. Post exam analysis. And how do they do that? Using artificial intelligence. Yes, using AI tools, they are able to detect if somebody was copying or cheating. And if there is a flag which is raised, immediately the supervisor will check. That is what happened in J mains. Those 39 students were not caught immediately. They were caught later on by analyzing the footage. So be very careful and be assured also. Careful for those students who probably did some kind of wrong things and assured for those students, don't worry. Those students who are cheated will get caught because of the CCTV analysis and the AI analysis. Got it? I hope you are understanding. Give me a thumbs up and smash the like button right now. Okay. Are you feeling little bit relieved listening to this news? Are you feeling little bit relieved listening to this news? Quickly smash the like button right away right now because you should understand what is exactly happening. Seventh point, NEET UG saw record high registrations, 24 lakh students registered highest ever in the history of medical exam with 10 lakh male students, 13 lakh plus girls, 13 lakh girls students, 10 lakh guys to increase the facilitated operating smaller centers, especially uh, you know, in Northeast, apart from Puducherry, Jammu Kashmir and other states. Okay, fine. They are just talking about the number of students. Despite the challenges, new UG operation involved more than 600 coordinators, 
5000 plus center superintendents staff pan india with 4800 schools in the process in the light of the above candidates their parent teachers and all concerned are requested not to pay heed to rumors and concentrate on forthcoming examinations the bottom line is there will be no re exam i know some of you are shouting sir re exam i feel something is wrong i know that is your inner feeling that is your inner desire there is always something what you want and there is always something what actually happens and often it happens those two might not be the same now what is happening is many youtube channels play on what students want and not what actually is going to happen and because there is a difference in the two what happens is because you want something you see that video and you think oh i should not take a drop now oh i should not study now oh this is going to be reconducted you go into a complete different zone and then what actually happens after a few days you realize oh this is not what is happening oh the exam is actually going to uh, you know be conducted only once the results are going to be out oh i didn't prepare for a drop i thought i was going to get a re exam and you are already wasting few more days few more months whereas at the same time other students have already started their preparation beat for counseling beat for college placements college analysis beat for doing their homework which college is good which college is bad or taking a drop making the decision or doing a partial drop i'll tell you why this why this is very important because in je also students started demanding oh no this question is bonus that question is bonus nothing doing few okay nta changed the answer key because we made videos they all went viral and actually there was something wrong so they corrected few things but not everything whatever was needed but you know whatever they could do they did it but after that nothing happened that's it that's the final answer key and understand guys that is how life is life is hard life is not simple life is not lhs is equal to rhs life is not like y is equal to x life is not you know a simple table like you know formulas or analysis or something which is very you know straight forward life has lots of ifs and buts and that is the harsh truth and you better realize it because you are going to see life and death in front of you you are going to be doctors very soon you are going to see the most critical cases in front of you and understand in an exam you think only about formulas concepts etc but real life is much more than that and you are going to face the harsher truth when you go outside you are going to be in college and you are going to see that the world is not in black and white the sooner you realize the better it is for you the sooner you realize the truth you will start acting for your future that's the message your captain shreya sir has so guys 99% no re exam okay unfair means whatever has happened the students will get caught no paper got leaked because the students just came out early and they protested they went back they were not able to send the papers to anyone and even if they send who will they send to because students were already inside that is the fact okay smash the like button right now and also subscribe to the vedantu neat english channel this is your captain shreyas signing off as the lavista if there is something that you need to tell me please put it up in the comments i am reading all the comments right now bye bye